Hey, this is Jason with inflatableboarder.com and today we're gonna to be reviewing the brand new 2019 iRocker Cruiser. Uh, now this is a very popular all around model. Uh, it's very, very versatile. It's a popular choice uh, with beginner paddlers because of the 33 inch width. It really performs well in a variety of conditions and you can use this for everything from sub fitness to fishing to all around recreational paddling, paddling around small children or your dog. The board measures 10 6 by 33 by 6. It weighs in at 26 pounds and it's capable of supporting up to 400 pounds of weight. The top deck of the board is covered by a very nice premium quality EVA foam traction pad. It's really easy on the hands and the feet. It features a croc pattern. Midboard is a durable nylon webbed grab handle that features a soft neoprene sewn on cover. Located along both rails of the board are stainless steel D-rings. These can be used to attach the optional iRocker kayak seat kit uh, or the company's shoulder carrying strap or you can use them to tie on additional gear such as a sup cooler. You can even attach a second bungee cord at the tail of the board using the four rear D-rings if you want an additional bungee cargo storage area at the tail of the board. Located at the nose of the board are six additional stainless steel D-rings along with an enlarged bungee cord storage area. This is perfect and super convenient for stashing dry bags, uh, backpack, um, your Crocs and other paddling gear. They've also integrated child safety handles, uh, grab handles into the bungee cord storage area. This is perfect if you paddle with small children. It gives them a safe and secure place uh, to hold on to when they're riding along at the nose of the board. This year for 2019, iRocker has also made uh, their safety kids handles removable, which is a great feature for paddlers who don't happen to have children and, and don't find those handles particularly useful. Uh, you can now remove those handles from the board. Also integrated into the board's nose for 2019 is a really convenient action mount. This is an accessory mount that makes it super easy to attach your GoPro camera, a fishing rod holder. You can also attach things like uh, your phone or even the brand new wireless Bluetooth speaker uh, that was announced by iRocker, which we'll have a full review of uh, coming up shortly. Also integrated into the action mount is another D-ring uh, for tying off or tethering the board to a boat or a dock. At the tail of the board is a high quality Halky Roberts style air valve, as well as a D-ring for attaching the included sup leash and a grab handle, which is super convenient for pulling the board in and out of the water. It allows you to elevate the board uh, up off of the ground, get the fins up off the ground to avoid damaging your fins on things like rocks and, and rocky beaches. Now let's flip the board over and take a look at the bottom of the board. On the underside of the nose is a final D-ring, uh, which is another option if you'd like to tether or tow your board. At the tail of the board are three removable fins. iRocker made a change this year uh, with their fin configuration. They've done away with the two permanently fixed smaller side fins and instead swap those out for removable fins, which we really love. Uh, having all three fins removable makes it easier to roll these boards up into a smaller shape makes it more uh, convenient for packing and for transport. Also, if you rack your boards on the top of your vehicle, being able to remove all three fins uh, makes it easier to stack the boards in a much neater fashion. The removable fins are very easy to install. All you do is simply drop them down into the fin box channel and then push down the plastic locking lever. Once that's done, the fin is locked into place and it's very secure. Now let's briefly talk about what comes with the board uh, this season. First of all, you have iRocker's iSup backpack. This backpack is relatively unchanged from last season. They've used a different fabric uh, on the bag this season, which feels more durable. Uh, they've also integrated uh, onto the back of the pack some additional sewn-in plastic D-rings, which is nice for attaching uh, small accessories. Located on the exterior of the bag are several compression straps, which can be used to cinch the bag up once it's fully packed out. There's also a grab handle on the side of the bag, another one at the top of the bag, as well as a clear see-through luggage ID window. Also located on the side of the bag is a single elastic mesh storage pouch. This can be used to stash the included paddle, or you can also use this as a great place to stash a change of clothes, a towel, uh, or a water bottle. On the bottom of the bag are four rubber feet as well as a metal grommet for draining. On the back of the bag is a heavily padded back cushion which really helps when it comes to comfort. There are also two heavily padded shoulder straps which feature nylon web loops and sewn in plastic D-rings for attaching small accessories. The backpack straps also feature an adjustable sternum strap and there's an added padded waist belt which is also fully adjustable for uh, further stabilizing the pack when it's packed out and on your shoulders. The bag has a nice dual zipper design. It gives you easy access to the bag's interior. It has a nice wide opening. Opens up wider on one side than on the other. On the inside of the bag are two final compression straps for securing everything once the bag is packed out. Also included with the board this year is iRocker's brand new, new and improved 
dual chamber triple action pump. This pump is called the iRocker Full Throttle Pump. Uh, last year, the company introduced a dual chamber triple action pump, which was really well received. It really cut down on the time and effort needed to uh, manually inflate your board. This year, the new full throttle pump is even faster and more efficient. So it takes even less time and effort to inflate the board now uh, using this brand new full throttle pump. This pump features an action control dial on the back of the pump. It allows you to switch from modes one, two, and three. When you initially begin inflating the board, you'll wanna put it in setting number one. And then as pumping becomes more difficult, you'll flip it into mode two and then ultimately to mode three to finish inflating the board to the recommended pressure of 15 PSI. The pump also features a built-in pressure gauge on the top of the handle and it comes with a flexible inflation hose that simply screws right into the back side of the handle. iRocker also includes a nice 10-foot coiled sub-leash. It features a very durable cord that's color-coded with the board. Uh, the iRocker Cruiser this year comes in five colors. This is the aqua teal version of the board, uh, which we think looks amazing. It also comes in blue, black, green, and orange. The leash features dual metal swivels at both ends to prevent tangles, and there's also a nicely padded neoprene covered ankle cuff with a built-in uh, hidden key storage pocket. The included paddle is also color-coded nicely with the board. Uh, iRocker has not made any changes to this paddle for 2019. It's a very uh, durable, well-tested, proven design. Uh, the blade of the paddle is very rigid. It's made out of a nylon material and it features a very, very thin rubber coating along the edges of the paddle blade, which helps to prevent cracks and chips uh, when the paddle comes into contact with rocks and other hard objects. Uh, the paddle also features a lightweight fiberglass shaft. Uh, this paddle floats. To assemble the paddle, simply slide the shaft pieces together, depress the locking pin, and slide it into place until the pin locks. Then insert the uppermost portion of the shaft, slide it down to your desired length, and then close the locking collar at the top. And once that's done, there's no twisting or turning. Uh, it's a really nice, secure design, very, very reliable and very durable. iRocker also includes an ISEP repair kit with the cruiser. Inside of the repair kit is a valve wrench, three replacement lever locks for the fin system, and three uh, color-coded PVC patches. Last but not least, the board comes with a nylon web compression strap, which can be used uh, to wrap around your board when it's deflated and rolled up. And there is a user manual, quick start guide, and a nice iRocker sticker pack, which is a nice detail. Last but not least, we wanted to show you about some of the optional add-on accessories that you can get uh, with the Cruiser for 2019. Again, these are not included with the board, uh, but they are available as optional add-ons this year. First up is the kayak seat kit from iRocker. Uh, this is a really nice add-on accessory, it gives you a lot of added versatility, is you'll be able to paddle the Cruiser standing up as well as seated. Uh, this attaches very quickly and easily using these adjustable uh, straps on the side of the seat. They simply clip on to the metal D-rings along the rails of your board and they're fully adjustable. So all you have to do is dial in uh, the desired length and you've got a uh, seat built right into the top of your board. Also on the back of the seat is a detachable uh, storage pouch uh, that has a zippered closure. This is great for stashing small accessories. And the kayak seat kit also comes with this kayak blade attachment. This simply attaches right on to the top of the standard iRocker paddle and turns your SUP paddle into a kayak paddle. Next up is iRocker's insulated SUP deck bag. This is a smaller uh, SUP cooler bag. Uh, it's really, really versatile. We really like the design of this. It slips in right underneath the bungee cord storage area at the nose of the board along the top of the bag is a zippered storage pouch for stashing small items. On the bottom of the bag is an elastic bungee cord as well as uh, four plastic mounting hooks which make it really easy to clip this to the D-rings along the deck of your board. There's a convenient carrying handle on the side of this bag which basically allows you to carry this around like uh, a soft-sided lunchbox if you will. And the inside of the bag is fully insulated to keep all of your uh, beverages and snacks cool while you're out on the water. Really a versatile bag design that you can use for a lot more than just paddling. Uh, you can bring this bag along with you to work, day trips, and anything else you can imagine. So really a nice accessory to consider adding on. Next up is iRocker's shoulder carrying strap. This carrying strap is super convenient, gives you an easy way to carry the board back and forth to the water. It quickly attaches using these locking clips. You just lock the clips 
to the D-rings along the rails of your board and then throw it over your shoulder. The entire underside of the shoulder strap is covered by a grippy rubber material, which helps to keep the shoulder strap in place when it's on your shoulder. And there are also sewn in uh, plastic D-rings along the, the top of the strap for attaching small accessories. Another new accessory for 2019 is iRocker's fishing rod holder. This screws on quickly and easily to the action mount uh, at the board's nose and gives you a really convenient place to stash uh, your fishing rod when you're out on the water. iRocker also offers an electric ISUP pump for automatic inflation of your boards, as well as a brand new waterproof Bluetooth speaker, which we will be posting a full review on shortly. Overall, we're very, very impressed with the 2019 iRocker Cruiser. Uh, we love the board's new design. The board looks really amazing this year. We love the added new features. The new action mount at the nose is amazing for capturing GoPro footage uh, while you're out on the water. We also really like the brand new kitty handles integrated into the nose that are removable this year. Uh, these are perfect for small children. It really gives them a secure place to hold on to while they're riding along uh, at the nose of the board. The enlarged bungee cord storage area is awesome for stashing your gear. And the new removable tri-fin setup is really, really nice when it comes time uh, to pack your board down and stash it away in the included bag, or even as I mentioned previously, to rack your boards on the roof of your car. It makes it much, much easier to rack your boards on top of each other when you don't have to deal with those fixed side fins. In terms of construction and durability, uh, this board is essentially bomb proof. It features the same quad layer PVC construction that the company introduced last season. The board is a little bit on the heavy side as a result of that, but we believe that that's a worthwhile trade off considering the added durability that it gives you. In terms of paddling performance, this board performs exactly as it did last season, so no real changes to report in that department. Uh, the board is very, very stiff under your feet, very rigid when fully inflated to 15 PSI. The 33 inch width of the board gives you outstanding stability. Uh, on the water, this is a really, really stable board, which makes it a fantastic option for new paddlers. Uh, also, if you're paddling children and need that extra bit of stability, this is a great option to consider, especially considering the fact that the board has these integrated safety handles for kids at the nose. So if you're looking for an affordable, well-designed all-around board this season that looks amazing uh, and is built to last, the iRocker Cruiser is a fantastic board to consider. It comes with a great bundle of SUP accessories and in terms of features, uh, this board is pretty tough to beat. Really hope that you've enjoyed this video review of the brand new iRocker Cruiser. If you want to get additional information on the board or to check the current price, just visit inflatableboarder.com slash cruiser. Again, that link is inflatableboarder.com slash cruiser, or you can simply click the link in the video description below. If you enjoyed this video review, please give it a like by clicking the thumbs up button below. If you haven't already done so, we invite you to go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you've got any questions at all about the board, just post them in the comments area below. We'll make sure to get all of your questions answered. So that does it for today. Happy paddling.